Um, oh, it is detecting my stream. Okay, that's good. Um, cool. This will be much different than normal because I have time to think and uh, and explain and interact with the chat. Hello to people in the chat. Hello, professional. Hello, Annika. Hello, Ariel is taken. Um, yeah, hopefully the audio and video look okay. I'm gonna play Knight C3 here. Black does have to be careful playing D5. There are cases where the, the center opens up uh, in white's favor. I'm gonna take. This is actually a somewhat new position for me. And bishop b5 looks attractive. Provoke some kind of c6 and then move back. Back to d3. Knight b5 comes to mind, but that runs into bishop b4 check. And queen a4 is a move. And 95 is a move. Queen a4 is a very typical idea to someday play bishop a6 and weaken the light squares. But I'm not going to take too much time. I'm going to go with my first instinct. Just bishop b5, c6, bishop d3, and then. This is a fine position. Black will probably play c5 at some point. Castle. Can't complain. Hello, Axe Villager. Good to see you back. Always in time for a stream. Yeah, I'm finally listening to feedback. People wanted to see longer games, so we have classical chess. Not sure how long I'll last today, but... Uh, Hopefully I'll get some instructive games in. I want to play ninety five here. H three is another candidate move. Just safe and solid. And there's another candidate move like a three and then b four ideas. Also rook c one. Lots of moves moves to consider here. Trying to figure out if black is actually threatening knight h5, because if he is, I'll probably play h3. Let's imagine rook c1, knight h5, bishop e5. Probably don't want to go into that line. Like he could take and then have the bishop pair play c5 later. Okay, I'm going to play h3. How often do I stream? I mean, for the last four days, I've been streaming. I think this is my fourth day in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it has been a bit infrequent, but uh, but yeah, it depends on the month. But I've been streaming pretty consistently. Um, or consistently meaning like at least a handful of times every month. It's not uh, not on a set schedule. <laughs> Timote, hello. It's two a.m. Where are you? It's Eleven a.m. here. Two a.m. It's got to be in like Australia. Is that possible? Yeah, Australia, I guessed it. I'm going to Australia in um, December, most likely. I was actually just in Australia a few months ago. I was in Brisbane, Adelaide, and Melbourne. And I want to go back and, and visit Sydney, one city I've heard good things about. 
on the top 10 streamer list. Well, thank you, Anaket. A bit disappointed that I'm not top 5, but what to do? I guess I could be top 5 if I'm top 10. Be a 50% chance of that. So he plays rookie 8. He wants to go for this normal plan. It's interesting, I usually play these types of positions from the black side, not from the white side. It just feels different. I'm not sure if I if rook c1 is the right idea for rook b1 and b4. Or some other move like queen. Queen c2, queen e2. Just gonna go with my gut. Rook c1. Anytime that black goes for this knight maneuver, the bishop will drop back to h2. And at least from my experience from the black side, it's not that easy to get active play. And another idea for white is to potentially play bishop h2, knight e5, and f4. Get some kind of stonewall structure and facilitate some attack. I'm thinking that if he plays knight f8 here, I'll start with bishop h2, preparing that I'll play one of these two knight moves, and then I'll play knight e5. And then Oh, the position should be decent. So he's debating. I don't know what he's debating. Knight f8 is by far the most natural move. Because he could play c5 too. The problem with c5, it weakens certain things. It allows me to take and get some preferable pawn structure. Also gives me the b5 square. If you play them as black, then you would know. If you play them as black, then you would know what you wouldn't like to be played against you. Um, X Villager wants me to go from the starting position. Yeah, because uh, I have time here. We have a London opening. Starting as uh, this Queen's Indian setup. And against Queen's Indian, I enjoy playing c4. Normal London would be probably like c3, bishop d3. But c4 has some traps to it. Um, one trap in particular is that if black plays c5 here, there's this d5 move which is very strong. Um, leads to some pawn sacrifice line, but usually good for white. Anyway, uh, game continued. So he goes for c5. I probably don't want to take on c5. Not necessary. He might want to play c4. Hey, Belgian novice. Long time fan, first time viewer. Thanks for the bits. Appreciate that. I usually don't stream this early in the morning. By this early in the morning. I'm talking about 11 a.m. Um, plug in my laptop charger. So the there's a few candidate moves here. Ninety five looks attractive. Knight b five is something to calculate. Wait, knight b five might just be very strong. So how does he defend c seven? Also has some positional threat of knight d six. To get the bishop here. Okay, so knight, knight b5 is clearly the first move to calculate. He could throw in c4, but then I play bishop to b1. Knight b5. I mean, usually he would like to play a move like knight a6 or knight e8, but those are not possible. So knight b5, rook c8. At the very least, I have knight d6, but I could take rook a8, go back. He takes on a2. 
Let's do it. Yeah, it's a drawback for black in this position. Like, this is in my control, this is in my control, this is in my control. When you have so many squares in your opponent's territory in your control, good things should happen. Ah, uh, so it's... Yeah, this is a good time for the Europeans. Very strange time for the Australians. So he plays rook e8 very quickly. Is, I guess, a playable move. And I don't think I'm winning anything here. I mean, knight d6 looks... Let me calculate. Knight d6... Take, take, we're casting move back, and then I went a pawn. If he doesn't take, he plays this move. At the very least, I have 9f5. Let's do it. So, I'm trying to figure out bishop c6 here. If I have anything better than knight f5. Really, I'm I'm just content with getting the bishop here. It's a good enough advantage. Uh, sorry, I'm ignoring people in the chat. Annika was saying I saw that I raided Urfankurt. Urfankurt. Oh, and he was playing hand and brain. I didn't even know that. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Isn't the bishop on each two? Passive if I play f4. Yeah, the bishop on h2, like if I went for this idea, it would be passive, but I would gain space and then maybe try and reactivate someday. But that would be the one downside with playing some f4 idea. Okay, so he plays bishop c6. Bishop isn't defended on c6, but I don't know if there's any tactics. Knight e5 could be a consideration, but. Probably not good. Yeah, I'm just going to go for knight f5. I like the pressure. At any time, I can take on e7. This bishop has no squares. How long is a tournament? You can see the countdown here. Uh, <laughs> there's just over, just under 10 hours left. Oh, and Sokolowski. Specified that. Oh no, me pants with a double plus. Oh, Anakit keeps a notification for me. Very flattered. Yeah, this is not a mindless bullet stream. I've done too many of those. This is hopefully going to be a lot more instructive, um, and I'll have t I'll have a lot more time to answer questions. Route. So if anyone has questions, don't bombard me too much, but uh, I will take questions. Nathan F., good to see you, asking if I'm streaming for all 10 hours. I don't know. I don't like to commit beforehand. If I said I was going to stream for all 10 hours, I would feel bad if I stopped. So I'm going to play a handful of games. A handful of games could be several hours. One game could last one hour. Wow, and this guy... Guy in first place already has 11 points. Maybe I should have berserked. I want to make a running in this tournament. Yeah, I'm going to stream until I feel like I'm getting... Like, just... Uh, dead and then I'll probably stop like yesterday I think I went three hours and then then I felt dead am I Kasparov's son uh, I've been told that I look like a younger Kasparov I come from Russian origin but I am not Kasparov's son Levy 
Wait, Gotham Chess in the chat. Hey, Levy. Thanks for hosting me with 80 viewers. I thought Gotham Chess is Levy. Did he just say hey to himself? I'm so confused. Shout out to Gotham Chess. We need more Gotham Chess in the world. And on Lee Chess. Uh, okay, he wants to play Bishop F8. So now it's a question, is my knight more powerful than his bishop? Because I have so much attacking potential. Like this is the type of position crew 64 would just like take this pawn or take something, sacrifice something, and it's tacticos. But I have to be a bit more controlled. So I'm searching for candidate moves here. Knight e5 looks playable. Knight g5 looks a bit ambitious. But it's all about finding threats and ways to perhaps drive some initiative. Like knight e5 looks quite appealing because knight take e5, pawn take e5. His knights attacked, say knight e4, queen g4. Bishop f8, knight h6, and I win his queen. Another variation could be if he moves to d7. That also looks nice for me. Let's play knight e5. My knights are menacing. Okay, I'll look at the chat again. So many comments. I'm like, I'm very far scrolled up, so I'm not looking at like the most recent comments. Uh, past pawn 99, it's going well. It's early for me, but why is my laptop not charging? I don't know how this happens, but I plug in the charger and then like a few minutes later, the charger will just be completely unplugged. And I, I'm not touching it. Some, uh, stuff happening i don't know um berserk every game yeah that's probably good advice wait did levy host me also are there notifications because i had this problem yesterday i'm so confused oh there are notifications because belgium novice just subscribed thank you for that belgium novice I do appreciate it okay it's still black's move uh, let me go ahead and open up Streamlabs. Log in. I'll scroll down here. Gotham Chess asking who is Crew64. Crew64 is a ghost of the past. He's probably like haunting me right now and just unplugging my laptop charger. I need to turn on engine to understand the joke. I do a Kasparov impression. No, a Kasparov impression is for Crew 64. I don't do impressions. I mean, I could try. I'm maybe doing a good Kasparov impression with these knights currently. Did Levy really host me? I don't see any notification. Thank you, Levy, for hosting me, if you hosted me. Um... Sometimes I'm just oblivious to things happening. I don't even know where I am in the chat. Scrolling down, RIP. Oh, he didn't host me. I'm so confused. Call them Gotham Chess. Okay, Gotham Chess. I will no longer say Crew 64. Um, Gotham Chess. This feels weird saying Gotham Chess. But I'll make an effort. I 
I'm not even like so much chat. Okay, well, let me thank the people who just supported me. Sin, Sin Kills? Or is that Sink Ills 85? Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, <laughs> leaving a good impression. And Passpawn99, thanks for subbing. Um, I do not have a sub command. Why is Nathan not a mod? Mod Nathan F314. Congratulations, Nathan. Been promoted in chat. Um, I have to figure out how to allow mods to create commands, because that would be convenient. Is there a way to do that with Mubot? <laughs> well, congratulating Nathan. He earned it. I don't have a subs command. I have a sub command. Okay, I'm going to go into Mubot. So much time to kill. Given this uh this classical game. Um but I apologize for destroying the position. Um these are my commands. I don't know if people can see that. But <laughs> it's not the whole or it's not like everything that I should have. Yep, commands, command list. So I'm going to create a sub, subs command, create. And then is there a way to like, say who the subscribers are? Hmm. I don't know how to do you. Did that work? I just made the subs command. <laughs> Is it supposed to list off like the usernames of, of subscribers? Um, oh, bye to Elastic Hold. I didn't even even say hi to him before, but thanks for watching. Um, sorry that I'm not putting m much focus on the game. Um, but we'll we'll get back to this. Uh, I'm gonna take with Pawn. Thank you, Soccer, for the follow. Saker, Soccer. Um, I'm very happy about this position. This knight has to move. Queen G4 is about to come. The calculation I did before was knight e4, queen g4, bishop f8, knight h6, check. King h8. And then I win the queen. Um, I'm probably not playing viewers today. If you want to play me, you can join this tournament. And then I guess there's a minute chance that we'll play. Um, but I'll, I'll do a viewer stream or viewer challenge stream later in the future. Nathan F with the code. Wait, did anyone answer my question if uh if like a mod can add a command? Oh. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'll look into that. Put that on my to-do list. Okay, so queen g4 is the main move to consider here. And you can't play bishop f8. You probably have to play g6. Also, can I just take on g7? That looks so much fun. What is it sound? In a bullet game, I just take on g7 right away, or I play queen g4 right away. But in a classical game, I have to think. Queen h5 is another candidate move. 
right, so knight takes g7, king take, queen g4, king h8, and then I'm gonna go after the h7 pawn, so like queen f5, knight f8, like e6, threatening bishop e5. A relatively forcing line. So take. Yeah, actually, he has no other option than to go into this. There's king f8, there's bishop h6 mate. He has to play uh, king h8. Oh, maybe I play bishop. I can play bishop h6 first. Threatening mate. And if he plays bishop f8, I have queen f5. And he can't, he has no longer any uh, knight f8. And that's a similar case uh, if we start from the beginning, take here, here, here. If he plays rook g8, ah, uh, rook g8 could be an issue. I wanted to play queen f5, but then he has rook g6. <sighs> Probably trying too hard to make this work when I just have some simple option. What's my simple option? Of queen g4, g6, knight h6. Wait, no. Queen g4, g6, he's not threatening anything. So then maybe e6, take knight h6. That looks a lot simpler. Knight take g7 might be good somehow, but do I want to risk it? I want to do one more calculation. Queen, okay, so I've, I've confirmed that queen g4 is just a safe option with this e6 idea. So I want to look at one more line after queen h5, threatening to take on h7, he doesn't have too many ways to defend. If he plays this, then I have bishop h6, king g8, king g8, bishop take f8, bishop take f8 is winning because king take f8, queen h6, and then there's mate. Knight take g7, king take g7, queen h5. Rook h8, but then I have bishop h6, which is also winning. Is that winning? Here, rook h8, bishop h6, king g8, it looks so good. Queen g4, bishop g5, take g5, and I take e5. We're just trading stuff. No, that's got to be good. I have, at the very least, h4 after bishop g5. Okay, I'm going for this. Take, take, take. Wait, there's one more line I have to consider. I take g7, king take g7, queen h5, he plays f5. But then I can just play bishop take f5. Okay, having fun. It's a thing in classical chess, if you're going to sacrifice, you have to be pretty sure that the sacrifice is working. Um, oh, there's a bird flying by out the window. And it was a distance away, but I thought it was like a really huge bug. Peripheral vision. Um, anyway, I don't know why he's thinking here, because uh, any other move will just be losing for him. So he basically has to test me. Uh, I'll get back to the chat. Hello, Bruno Rolla. Mike Comer making an appearance? Or just some mention of Mike Comer. Uh, okay, Queen H5. So there's a few threats here. Queen dig h7, bishop h6. I 
I don't think he can defend everything. I'm not going to start predicting what he'll play because I don't want him to be like just watching and uh, and listening to what I'm calculating. I haven't given him, him enough information already. So, Elastic Hold is asking Knight takes g7. Yeah, so I calculated uh, this line. Wait, Elastic Hold is still here. Uh, <laughs> so I did calculate. This is probably the, the most intuitive line. But I didn't see what to do after Knight f8. Defending. And if I play Bishop h6, he has Knight g6. So here are the difference is that if he plays Knight f8, I just play bishop h6 and take the knight, and it's winning for white. Oh, mods can add commands on nightbot. Interesting. Well, let me install nightbot. Nightbot, Twitch. Hopefully it's relatively easy. Sign up. Log in. Authorize. Okay. Nightbot is authorized. Mods, you can take it from here. I don't know if I need to do anything more. Uh, maybe join channel? Oh, I have to mod Nightbot. There we go. Okay. Mod uh, Nightbot. Hey, I have 27 subs. Okay. I guess, could Nightbot and Moobot conflict? Because if I have like a subs command for each. Oh, thank you, Nathan. So now I guess any any mod can now add a command. And thank you, iWeave, for the, the one bit. Um, pick Moobot RAR. Final chessboard is back. So, okay, this guy's thinking. I think next game I'll berserk. It's given. This is pretty slow paced. Extra Kuhar, thanks for subbing. Should I mute Mubot? No, Mubot has commands too. Oh, but I guess Nightbot does everything that Mubot does. Except that uh, that push him baby command. Hmm. Channel's taking off. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You mean like going away or going up in the world? Okay. My opponent is probably just crying in this position. This is one of these moments, like, I wish it was over the board chess just to see my opponent suffer in real life. I weave, thank you for the follow. And there is a 10 second increment, so he could get low on time and then perhaps play on for longer. So. I wonder if he, he knows that I'm streaming. Because it doesn't show the... I don't think it showed this uh, alert when I started the game. If I were to refresh the page, it would show the alert. Pretty sure. But he probably doesn't see this. So hopefully that's a good thing. Opponent, if you're watching, say hi in the chat. Um, okay, he plays Knight of Fate. Just to double check, here, here, take, and life is good. There's actually some cute force mate. Let's imagine king g8. Okay, well, now it's happening. Um, king take f8, queen h6, king g8. Bishop take here, here, here. Okay, never mind. Trying to be fancy. So here I just want to take. Oh, I also have en passant. I forgot about en passant. I 
I mean, okay, everything wins. Just trying to find the most efficient win. I might as well just save the bishop. Or I could I could do this. He can't take the bishop because queen take h7, mate. And bishop d7 or queen d7, I can play e6. Do that. I'm trying to figure out my threat, though. I think if it's white's move in this position, the threat is probably just bishop h6 and with the mate threat. Elastic hold, asking about emotes every day. Um, yeah, I have not prioritized emotes. I need to put together a list of like emote requests. F6. I can do this. I'm threatening mate, and I'm threatening his bishop. I don't think he could defend both. Power of London emote. I'm going to London in like two weeks. I'll try and do a stream. Okay, he resigns. Uh, real quick, have some closure on this game. I don't want computer analysis just yet. Um... Oh, I like the opening. We got some Queen's Gambit decline position. Black was a bit passive. Knight b5 was nice. And my knights were beautiful. Seven. Yeah, I think knight take g7 is strongest. I was going to play queen g4. What does Sockfish say? Wow, plus six. I take g7, nice. Wait a minute. Did I have really have no... Did I play perfectly that game? I mean, 16 average cent to pawn loss is pretty good. Um, Maybe slightly suspicious. But I mean, all the moves were natural. And I take g7 was one of these, like, if it works, it works. Queen h5. I think I guess this is a hard thing to realize. Because queen like it's so easy to get caught up in these these queen g4 lines. I was very close not to playing not playing knight to take g7 because I didn't see what happens after queen g4. But it was good I came back to it and just considered queen h5. You always gotta consider the forcing moves. Like queen g4 is the obvious forcing move, but queen h5 is also a forcing move because it's it's just threatening mate. So Okay, that makes me feel good. Good start. Back to tournament. I have some catching up to do. There's only one game. People are so far ahead.